Hello, my name is Tony Cole and I'm the Vice President of North American Sales for Elliptical Mobile Solutions. I'm here today with Simon Rorich, our co-founder and chief technology evangelist, and we'd like to introduce you to our newest product, the Razor HD, the highest density, most energy efficient micromodular data center on the market today. So a little bit about EMS. We're the only company in the world to build a micromodular data centers at the rack level. These completely sealed enclosures include onboard cooling, security, and fire suppression, as well as water, dust, and humidity protection. The enclosures fully replicate the benefits of traditional and containerized data centers, but they offer dramatic capital, operational, and energy savings. We were founded in Chandler, Arizona in 2005, and since then we've launched uh, a broad patent portfolio, built out our channel, launched four products, and have developed extensive market awareness. But with our Razor HD, we now have five micromodular data centers in production, and while all of our products are manufactured here in the United States, we have the sales presence on five continents. Our products have multiple applications. The Razor DX and the C3 Spear are mobile and relocatable, making the perfect platforms for disaster recovery, remote office support, IT on the move, telco and industrial support, and the Razor DX and HD are also relocatable, but due to their high density capabilities, they provide excellent platforms for high performance computing, cloud computing, high density zone, and data center retrofits or expansions. Our key clients today span across the government and commercial sectors, both in the United States and abroad. So we've recently brought to market a Razor HD, which is capable of offering IT loads of up to 80 kilowatts and a PUE as low as 1.1, among the lowest in the industry by today's market standards. So to discuss the features of the uh, Razor HD, I'd like to turn the, uh, this portion of the presentation over to Simon. Thanks, Tony. This is Simon Rorick here to talk to you about the Razor HD and some of the features that we bring to the table with this new product. It has 42U of very deep rack space available in the main cabinet. On each side are two sidecars containing heat exchangers. It has a sealed environment. Closed loop cooling allows for high temperature water cooling strategies. Each heat exchanger has an A and B water loop and multiple hot swappable fans to meet tier four data center infrastructure requirements. Each unit is redundant, so you can go N plus one or two N, and each unit, each heat exchanger unit is hot swappable. Multiple configurations from 20 kW all the way up to 80 kW are available in a single enclosure. Built-in environmental monitoring for air temperature, airflow, water temperature, leakage, and humidity are part of the uh, interior environmental monitoring equipment available in the Razor HD. Seismic ratings above zone 4 are available. That means that these can take 5 G's at ground level. The heat exchangers are hot swappable and upgradable in place. That means that you, are, you can future-proof your data center infrastructure and meet the requirements for hotter and faster and higher performing equipment many years into the future. Built-in shock and vibration isolation protects the equipment so that you can have supply chain advantages such as having the operating system and equipment burned in and configured and having the unit transported with everything in place. The Razor cooling units are highly sophisticated and contain quite a few sensors in them. They are regulated with micro microprocessor controlled units, a PID control loop regulates the water flow through the air and water heat exchanger on the basis of air exit temperature from the cooling module. So they are self-regulating. A buzzer or horn is fitted on the cooling unit and can issue the following alarms for fan speed, leak detection, fan failure, temperature limits, either minimum or maximum, broken connectivity to any of the temperature sensors, an open, open door or if this unit is operating at maximum cooling temperature, an alarm can also be set up to sound. We feature closed loop cooling so that you do not have to worry about outside environmental conditions. There's hot and cold aisle isolation within the unit. It's pre-engineered with best practices. So with the hot and cold aisle isolation and zero bypass airflow, all of the uh, cooling and airflow design headaches go away. This comes with the best practices on board. It's 97% efficient. 
whereas most data centers today are only about 30 to 35 percent efficient in how they cool. It's scalable and modular. You can build out your infrastructure like you build like you build using Lego blocks. Each unit coming complete with all of the things required that you normally find in a brick and mortar data center. It is the greenest product on the market today. And when we mean green, we don't just mean electrical savings, we mean green from cradle to grave. Carbon savings in the form of reduced construction materials and processes on the build out and tear down cycles of business IT growth, relocation, or consolidation. And furthermore, at the end of life, the unit can be completely recycled. Our micromodular data centers bring all of the attributes that you'd find in a brick and mortar data center on board. And that includes highly sophisticated active fire suppression systems, including VESTA and HSSD systems using Novec 1230 or FGAS. Our CyberLock security systems use standalone power, provide an audit trail, have a card reader security interface, and can scale to enterprise class uh, deployments. They are also remotely programmable. So again, this is another feature that you do not have to build out in your data center space. It comes with the unit. Right now I'm going to go over a little bit of uh, how we save you money on infrastructure and space. Normally when people build data centers, they assess what they're going to need many years down the road and then have to build all of that uh, money and all of that cost and all that infrastructure up front and then they slowly grow into it. That is not an agile strategy and there's a lot of waste and upfront capital costs that go into that process. Elliptical Mobile Solutions micromodular data center strategy scales and meets very closely your business need. Imagine just being able to deploy all of your IT and the facility portion of that one financial quarter ahead of your need just in time. As you can see, infrastructure cost savings in this 4 megawatt example uh, are significant when using our micromodular data centers. In this example, we have 140 kilowatt Razor HD units running 4,000 kilowatts of critical IT load for a total cost of $32 million with no major modifications to the existing building. It can be completed in 12 to 14 weeks and you only need 3,600 square feet to do that in. Traditional data center builds would require 800 racks at $48 million and you'd have to pay for it all up front. You'd have to have major modifications to the existing building. It will not scale to meet your business need. It can take up to a year to complete and takes about 50,000 square feet depending on layout and design. Elliptical Mobile Solutions provides a massive cost savings on the total cost of the data center but also Keep in mind that your beginning cost is greatly reduced as well. This slide illustrates the, the traditional 4 megawatts of critical IT load using 500 racks. Again, as you can see, it requires 50,000 square feet of building and $48 million. Here's an example of a comparison between a traditional data center footprint represented in the white space and a micromodular data center footprint represented in the small space in the corner. As you can see there's a great reduction in how much that costs based on square footage. Square footage while not the major cost driver in today's data center world is a construction cost driver and when you reduce the square footage required by four to ten times, you will experience a great amount of savings in the form of footprint, overall land required, permitting, construction costs. Data center challenges today, operational expense. With our micromodular data centers, the PUE can get as low as 1.1 to 1.5, depending on location and UPS selection. MMDCs typically reduce electrical load for cooling by about 50%. They have pre-engineered efficient airflow inside of them. 
hot, hot aisle containment, cold aisle containment, zero bypass airflow, and it can connect to free cooling modules just like uh, other systems out there, and we can take advantage of climate enabling uh, energy savings. Close coupled cooling and having the cooling modules very, very close to the IT equipment allow you to have high temperature water inlet and use high temperature water cooling strategies to achieve free cooling through a larger uh, range of months depending on location. Here's an example of a comparison between a traditional data center footprint represented in the white space and a micromodular data center footprint represented in the small space in the corner. As you can see, there's a great reduction in how much that costs based on square footage. Square footage, while not the major cost driver in today's data center world, is a construction cost driver. And when you reduce the square footage required by four to ten times, you will experience a great amount of savings in the form of footprint, overall land required, permitting, and construction costs. These are some example solutions of how you can use our MMDCs and couple them with IT equipment to produce an appliance. This is a, an example of high performance computing using Cisco blade pods. Six UCS chassis, 48 blades, Nexus switches, put out a lot, they put out a lot of BTU. They can be integrated into one razor and the entire thing can show up pre-configured, ready to go, and ready to be plugged in. This is an example using HP Blade C7000s, some of the uh, hottest and most powerful servers on the market. Normally, it would require a building to handle this kind of heat load. As you can see here, we can handle it in under 16 square feet with a small detached air-cooled chiller. Our MMBCs solve a lot of data center challenges today limited cooling or electrical capacity. If you can increase the number of watts, the number of ones and zeros you can produce per watt, then you can increase the capacity of your site without having to add additional power. Runaway electrical bills. We all kind of are familiar with that one already. Expensive retrofit for high density zones. Oftentimes to get to the high densities for today's equipment, an entire retrofit and restructure of cooling methodology is required in a data center. If you drop a Razor HD down in that space, none of that hassle is, is uh, required. Underutilized compute resources. Razor HDs concentrate so much cooling into such a small space that they actually work best when completely filled. Virtualization infrastructure challenges. When you virtualize, you require higher performance equipment. That higher performance equipment requires more cooling. Many data center infrastructures today are not designed for that kind of density. Technology refreshes. As Moore's law marches on and equipment becomes hotter, how, are, how is a data center built to 5 kilowatts per rack going to deal with today's technologies that are getting to 20, 30, and 40 kilowatts per rack? Data center consolidation. Bringing 800 rack units down to just a few can produce massive space savings. Energy savings initiatives. These units are pre, have pre-built efficiency, so they come with the best practice airflow and cooling methodologies available today with zero guesswork. Expensive build costs. You could build a data center at $2,500 a square foot and build a traditional brick and mortar one with all the capital expense up front, or you could build a warehouse at $70 a square foot and just start start dropping these razor systems down one right next to the other and grow as you need. Floor space constraints. Because the razors have a hot and cold aisle inside of them and all of the cooling is right next to the equipment, 
everything is consolidated. So what is normally spread out in a data center raised floor is now in a very small, tight space. We often save 50 to 75 percent of the floor space using these systems rather than the traditional hot and cold aisle containment systems used by uh, traditional brick and mortar data centers today. Inflexible infrastructure. The ability to have your infrastructure agile, be able to move it, rearrange it, repurpose it on a whim because of the mobility is a completely new concept and is proved useful throughout several clients today. I think this concludes our uh, data center uh, Razor HD introduction. I'd like to thank you for your time. Uh, for more information, please contact Tony Cole, VP of Sales. The information is, is uh, on the slide there, Tony C at ellipticalmedia.com, 480-924-0547. You can contact me if you have any technical questions. Simon Rorick, Simon R at ellipticalmedia.com, 480 924 0547. Thank, Thank you. you.